Hey guys, and welcome back to another year of the 12 Days of Christmas. Come on in. Hey you guys and welcome to the 2018 edition of the 12 Days of Christmas. Before we get started with this video, I wanted to share something kind of special that we're doing to give back to our community here in Tampa. We are absolutely the biggest fans of a local nonprofit organization called A Kid's Place of Tampa Bay. They work to keep siblings together who have been removed from their homes. So what we decided to do is to donate 10% of any of the proceeds generated from the 12 Days of Christmas videos here here on YouTube back to a kid's place. And the way you can help is simply by watching the videos. Every time you watch or share, it helps us to give more back to them. So I hope you're inspired by that. I'll have a link um, to their website in the description box if you'd like to go and find out more information about their organization or to give directly to them. Thank you for a fabulous year. Thank you for sharing this time with me. I wish you much love and peace. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays! In today's video, I'm sharing the dining room Christmas tree and how I styled the rest of the space. Yes, I hope you're having as much fun as I am. Today, I'm going to share our dining room tree with you. I shared uh, this tree last year. This is our, uh, the first flock tree I had, King of Christmas Tree. But with the room being such a different vibe altogether, um, my inspiration for decorating this tree this year is Game of Thrones, icy, cool, Queen of the North. Pole. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try to pull it together. I don't have an actual design, but the idea is a very cold north pole type of feel. So I'm going to get started, bring you along, and hope you enjoy this video. Well, if you watched last year, you saw me do a collaboration with my friend Denise at Be My Guest with Denise, where we both used this beautiful piece of iced gar garland that we found at TJ Maxx. I love this garland. I used it on the staircase last year. It is stunning, but it is very hard to work with because it's really stiff. You'll see me cut myself a couple times here in this video. I have two pieces, um, and so I decided to add them to the tree. If I find some more this year, I will be grabbing more. They have it in gold and silver, but it just makes a beautiful statement to pretty much anything you added to. Last year I used it on top of a uh, green garland and this year you can see I'm using it on top of a flock tree but it really adds just a lot of sparkle and shine to the tree. The design challenge I always have with this tree is that it has two focal points because of its location. You can see it from our front door when you walk in and you can also see it from our garage door when you walk in. So this year I decided to uh, to achieve the look, use one main color, uh, which is just a very muted color, and then add in very subtle pops of cobalt blue. I will add that this tree is so beautiful. It's very, very white. It honestly doesn't need a lot. I know some people like to go very heavy with their ornaments where you really can't even tell the tree is under there and some people don't. I don't like to do that with this tree because it's so pretty on its own. It's, it's whiter than the flock tree in our family room. And so that's why you see me only using a few ornaments on this tree. I filled in the top of the tree with some really pretty uh, champagne colored sparkly picks and I also added some pearl picks throughout the rest of the tree. And here's a nice close-up so you can see the ornaments a little better. The deer ornament with the pearls around the neck I found last year at Pottery Barn. I 
and pretty much all of the rest of the ornaments with pearls uh, I found last year at a local store called Southern Hospitality. They don't really have a website, but if you live in Tampa, they're definitely worth the drive because they have a great selection. I added those pre-lit trees in front of the mirrors because it creates a really nice illusion with the reflection of light. And I kept the table very simple, just filling it in horizontally, but not vertically because the show was going on in the back. I found both of these beautiful pieces of garland at Pier 1. If you came to the meet and greet, you saw me present them. And here's what it looks like from the other side of the room. If you use your buffet to serve, um, this wouldn't really be practical for you. I don't serve a formal Christmas dinner, so I'm able to style this space pretty heavily. Most of the product information on where everything else came from uh, can be found in the dining room video that I did a few weeks ago for you. And also on my Instagram, I have some links there as well. I love this room because it looks really beautiful during the day and at night as well. And in the final home tour, I'm going to try to show you guys what everything looks like at night. Thank you for watching today. I hope you were inspired. And until next time, love and peace.